Hello, my name is Manisha and I run the Ananda Permaculture Project. And I'm back today to speak to you about a very important topic, which is waste. When we live in the city, we become absolutely ignorant of where things come from and where things go. This includes things that we buy, we don't care how they are made, where they are made, what it takes to make them. And once we are through with these products, we usually just throw them out and we have no idea where the garbage goes. But when you live in an off-grid environment, you become acutely aware of where things come from and where things go. Today I'm going to talk about a waste which is universal and is there in everybody's home and that is human waste. Typically in cities, all our toilets are connected to a sewage line and they basically go into these big municipality sewage pipes and finally find their way into either large septic tanks or into a gutter or a river. When you live off grid, you have to take responsibility for your own human waste as well and how to dispose that of. Traditionally, people have made septic tanks on their properties, which are basically concrete structures into which the human waste goes in and then once in many years, it needs to be pumped out and cleaned. What we have done here at Ananda is to use a biodigester instead. Now, a biodigester is a new technology which entails having a sealed box and anaerobic bacteria within it. This anaerobic bacteria does not require any oxygen but is very good at breaking down human waste. It is the same technology that is used high up in the mountains where Indian soldiers are living in places like Siachen and is also used in the Indian railways to dispose of human waste collected during train journeys. Now a biodigester is a very very simple device to use and install on your property. All you need to do is dig a bit, big trench, place the biodigester within it, Collect all the human waste from your various toilets and pull them in through an interconnecting chamber and then finally feed it into the biodigester. After installing the biodigester, we introduce the anaerobic bacteria in it, which is really the most important element of the system. The anaerobic bacteria tends to stick to the walls of this biodigester because of a PVC lining and does not get flushed away with every flushing uh, of water that enters the biodigester. And over time, it breaks down the human waste to produce two things. One, some methane gas, which can be just let out into the air and is not uh, offensive or uh, you know smelly. And some effluent, which is basically a stream of water, uh, which is quite rich in nutrients and can be used easily within your gardens. So a simple device like this can actually break down your human waste and provide something very useful for you, which is a liquid fertilizer, which can be used easily in your gardens. This effluent can be either disposed of through the use of a reed bed, or in our case, we have built a soak pit where it empties out. And this is very close to a big tree cluster that we've planted, which will actually benefit from the uh, effluent which is rich in nutrients uh, released into the area around it. The only thing you need to watch out for with your biodigester is that your bacteria should not die. And when is it likely to die? If it starves to death. So if you have a biodigester, it's almost imperative that somebody is using your toilets on an ongoing basis. If there is a three month drought for this bacteria, which means it doesn't get any human waste for three months, it is likely to die. And then you may be in trouble with your biodigester. 
there are many vendors and suppliers who make biodigesters now. You can do a simple Google search and find somebody near your location to supply you with a biodigester. So I hope you found that uh, tip useful and uh, might be thinking of substituting your septic tanks with biodigesters instead and end up managing one part of your waste self-sustainably within your own home and your own garden. So much from me. Thanks for watching. Do share and subscribe to our channel and our videos. And if you don't do already, please do follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Our handle is Farm Ananda. See you again soon. Bye-bye.